2024, EMBO celebrates its 60th anniversary. The mission of EMBO is to promote excellence in the life sciences in Europe and beyond. And really since the beginning we've been supporting scientists at all stages of their careers. I am Vasilis Papadimiannis. I am a postdoctoral research fellow here at the Centre for Genomic Regulation in the Transdivo lab led by Manuel Irimia, which is also affiliated with the Pompeo Fabra University. EMBO has been critical for the development of molecular biology in Europe, absolutely critical. 60 years ago, molecular biology was just being born and it has played a very significant role in getting molecular biology out there to the entire life sciences community. It's been an exceptional success. I'm a professor of contemporary history at the University of Genova and from 2022 to 2025 I will be working here at the Centro Lincei uh, Beniamino Segre uh, on a research project on the early history of EMBO, MBC and MBL. My research focuses on the mysterious conserved non-coding elements of vertebrate genomes. These elements often act to regulate important genes in development in the embryo and neuro neurodevelopmental genes. And in my project, I use cutting edge techniques like capture high C to be able to see the contacts of these elements with such important genes, especially neurodevelopmental genes. MBC is uh, an intergovernmental organization. It was established in 1969 and uh, uh, 1970 uh, to secure funding for AMBO activities and to provide political uh, legitimacy and support to AMBO. So EMBC mission is to support all the activities of EMBO, so especially supported training, career development and networking among molecular biologists, especially in Europe, but not only. Uh, EMBO's increasing participation uh, scheme is, uh, from our point of view, an important initiative in order to allow uh, researchers uh, from uh, less represented countries to uh, benefit more from uh, EMBO's offer in the future. And I think that it's very important for EMBO to continue with widening measures and, and trying to tap into talent pool of the new member states. In 2024, EMBC includes 31 member states and celebrates its 55th anniversary. I think uh, EMBO has played a major role in molecular biology in Europe, and it has succeeded. At least we see the effect, we see molecular biology everywhere, in, in the universities, in, in industry, in uh, healthcare system. In the early days, it was very important for getting its workshops going and ensuring that the act of the young people mm. were there. Mm. And I think that that early thing, the 60s onwards, installed that and, and opened up continental Europe. I mean, sort of, you know, to a real scientific exchange. EMBO helped increasing the mobility of researchers and the training of researchers in molecular biology in Europe through a network between research centers in the European level and providing fellowships, organizing courses, lectures, rectorships and symposiums for young researchers. And I think it's what is particularly valuable about EMBO is that it brings people together. It supports, it nurtures, it develops uh, careers and it's not just about funding science, it's about funding a community. So being elected as an EMBO member comes with a pride and honor because you are now part of this excellence 
excellent network and also you get to take decisions on how um, funding will be distributed among fellowships or postdocs and also who you want to associate in the in the EMBO community. Uh, the Young Investigator Program uh, essentially catalyzes a network of future leaders, if you wish. So it was great to be there with a lot of interaction. The benefit for me of the Young Investigator Program is not only new interactions with other uh, researchers within Europe, but also the training aspect of it. So being trained in uh, topics that I didn't have the opportunity before to be trained during my career. What I have looked back and seen what's really worked for EMBO is um, the activities that bring people together. Courses, symposia, training. The symposia that I have been to really educated me. Um, the courses also. It had actually a really a big impact on me and I was delighted later in life to be able to put something back. Doing your own project for a researcher, especially early in your career, can be extremely empowering and allowing me to implement my own idea and reaching the right people and together being able to move forward on this is really great. Most wonderful thing about being in a network like this EMBO Global Investigator Network is you feel you're a part of a much larger community of science. Science is truly global. EMBC associate member states and cooperation partners widen the reach of EMBO beyond Europe. EMBO global activities strengthen the mutually beneficial interactions. My own initial exposure to EMBO, of course, came from the EMBO journal, which is one of the most essential journals any scientist in the molecular and cellular life sciences reads. At EMBO Press, we believe we have a responsibility as journals to select scientific results for both the um, quality of the research that is uh, shared with the community and the wider public, but also for the importance and the interest of the work. All EMBO Press journals are open access and highly selective. I'm also acutely aware that uh, this selectivity has uh, checks and balances in uh, that journal publication is often used in research assessment for hiring and, and assessing research and researchers. EMBO is one of the founders of the Declaration on Research Assessment and member of the Coalition for Advancing Research Assessment. We are committed to recognising diverse outputs and working towards a research assessment reform. I think that the outcomes of my project will assist us not only on basic research and understanding the evolution and function of these elements, but also to advance our understanding for neurodevelopmental disorders. Being a member of uh, the EMBO community also gets you a sense of how Europe works, I think. It's, of course, only at the science level, but already having some common agreement on how science should be recognized and funded, I think is a very major step towards this bigger uh, view of the European community. EMBO Press has been leading the transformation to open access of publication and open science. So our past five papers have all been through review comments and uh, uh, the review comments process has been very refreshing. Review comments is a peer review platform that will do the peer review before submission to the journals. Uh, yes, I thought particularly the they found excellent reviewers who would review your paper just as it would in any other journal but once you get back your reviews you can now choose to submit a revised version of your paper to any one of the journals which are affiliated with Review Commons. We provide a consortium of journals with a very broad scope and with very different levels, uh, editorial levels and criteria. So, so we are very confident that the authors will find rapidly a home for the study. Recipients of awards are part of the growing EMBO community. Since 1986, 
EMBO has awarded the Gold Medal to young scientists for outstanding contributions to the life sciences. Receiving this prize is something that really gives me uh, like a very big honour and I'm very happy about it. On the other side, I think it's an incredible recognition for, for the lab and for the lab member. Winning the FEBS EMBO Women in Science Award is a huge honour. It's an honour for two reasons. One, for acknowledging our science. I also find it extremely satisfying and important that efforts by me and by everyone else um, to diversify science are recognised. EMBO launched the Lab Sustainability Award in 2024 to celebrate our 60th anniversary. Um, and really it was in recognition of the passion that many life scientists feel to uh, make sure that the environmental impact of their research is minimised. I consider uh, this anniversary uh, as uh, creative moments actually for revisiting the past and redefining the uh, identity of the organisation. At the moment we are very active in running fora where people can discuss research integrity. My wish is that this anniversary could provide a chance to look critically at the past in order to address the challenges of the future. The way that EMBO identifies emerging challenges is simply by constant communication with our community. One thing you acutely feel is a different access of researchers in, maybe you could call it the global south, to conferences, to the latest advances uh, in science. The evaluation of the scientific work is based purely in publications and it also creates pressure to publish. We need uh, to maintain Europe at competitive level and uh, to develop uh, the highest level science really uh, to have impact in the society. People have problems with following what is being developed. So EMBO is also, it has to think about it, it has to think how to be closer, how to work with the society, to, not to lose the society. So it's a very dynamic organisation to lead and very exciting. I feel that uh, celebrating EMBO at 60 is a very good chance to reflect on where we've got to and look forward to what the future holds.